Wow. So, so that's that's what happens if Flippity Floop the Flop were to be sent to Gulag for life. War Thunder would turn into a cesspool of drama and sadness and sorrow. I was only gone for like four days. I mean, if you guys want to hear my full thoughts and opinion on everything that has happened the last couple of days, uh, it's in the description below. It's the... It will be under my thoughts with the link there. Uh, it will be a, a Twitter long post so you guys can read everything that I have to say on my mind. If you guys did click the link, bless your heart. Bless your soul. Thank you so much for uh, keeping keeping that thing alive. Thank you guys so much. But to, to be, be frankly honest, it's between them two. I'm nothing involved in it, and they're working things out, and they're being gentlemen about it. Can we just stop all of it and just play virtual tanks and uh, make other virtual tanks crew unconscious? Before we talk a little bit about the KV-2 and what's happened to it, uh, today's video is going to be sponsored in a much different context. Uh, there'll be images that you'll see that if it makes you feel uncomfortable at all, get out right now and don't come back. Okay, because if we can't share a moment like this together, I don't think that um, we can ever fix our relationship. And big shout out to o Oxum Geek for performing the voice lines in Spanish for me out of nowhere and very quickly to satisfy the sponsor. Thank you so much. He has a YouTube channel. He does make War Thunder content. His link will be in the description below. Without further ado, Here's a bit of a small film. Conviértete en todo un caballero con los productos Dollar Shave. Usa el link de la descripción para comenzar tu transformación por solo 5 dólares. Stay fly, amigos. See, don't you feel closer together now? <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. Thank you so much for using that Dollar Shave Club link. That's what keeps them coming back here and supporting the channel. The KV2. The KV2s, if you will, have received a... A nerf to their AP. This is kind of old news, but I'm just kind of getting around to it. And from my experience, I like to use AP. Now, if you go on the forums, all the sweaty nerds say, <laughs> um, All you need is AT. Uh, you don't really need AP. AT is actually better. All you need is AT because you, 48 millimeters will go through everything. And which, which they're right, it does like to go through everything, but sometimes there's obstacles in the way. Sometimes there's a bush or a fence or a car or a building. Small building, like a shack, like sheet metal. That the AG likes to go ex explosive boom on. So in my experience, the old AP was more than enough to get the job done and make you more lethal by allowing you to shoot through other things and 
geez louise if you didn't have the kv2 1940 that has a machine gun 7.62 what were you supposed to do find a new location hope that it didn't explode and have a 33 second now, now this is a ace crew which means that normally this would be i think a 38 second launch or reload there you go brain so today what we're going to do is not see how good he is we're going to see <clears throat> If the AP is still sufficient to do so. Now, in this current setup, if I wasn't testing, HE is probably the way to go. But with this, it's it's kind of hard to imagine that a 40 kilogram. Oh my gosh, we are we going to do a banana? We we gotta do bananas, okay? So I took 40 kilograms to put it in pounds because blame public school system still teaching it, and then so 88. So it's 88. Roughly 88 pounds for 40 kilograms. And three medium-sized bananas is roughly one pound. So we'll do 88 times three. So 264 bananas. Dude, that's a lot of bananas, first of all. A lot of potassium. A lot of potassium. Very healthy. But to... Say that that could bounce off of a. Oh my goodness. So if we're out at. Okay, still goes through. Wow. At 1,400 meters away. Well, we're actually a little bit higher than we would, but you know, angles can vary. Okay, so this is 84 millimeters of protection. So at about 1,000 meters, the Sherman's upper... Okay, so it doesn't... <laughs> I think that's the, the shell weight coming into play now. It just blows my mind that that upper plate can still withstand that. Now, at close range, I don't think it's going to be an issue, but we'll see. AP, only shell we're going to have loaded today. Here we go. Now, we have two shells to choose from. TNT equivalents, only thing that we're going to look at, 5.9 kilograms, 1.5 kilograms. Oh, that's cool. Anti-concrete. Yeah, easily this one. Up. Yeah, this one has better long-range performance and more TNT equivalent. And we'll, we'll use the KV-2 1939 first, just for old times' sakes. And it looks like we have decent BR here. Oh, man. I don't think I ever tested this gun out with a sound mod. Here we go. Eh. Six out of ten. Sounds like 105 millimeter. I mean, I've never heard a, a, a gun over 76 millimeter shoot before. And honestly, when I was in Texas to hear it shoot, I really didn't hear it shoot because I had um, <laughs> really heavy uh, hearing protection on. So all I heard was like a thud. But I think it needs a little bit more girth. A little more girth. I don't know about you guys. Oh my God, we're already reloaded. Okay. Now, the Sherman's probably the easiest target for us to face. The hardest are going to be the Churchill's. And will our, will our 102 millimeter be able to squeeze into that, uh, that space between the turret? We'll have to see. We're going to wait here just for a second. If you guys are ever having a down day in War Thunder, just grab the KV-2. It's slower paced gameplay, and it's more rewarding with what you can do with it. Don't use me as bunker, comrade. Use me as friend. Okay, we're going to push into Bravo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Cromwell has just disintegrated. AP worked great there. <laughs> it's side shot on a Cromwell. <laughs> All right, yeah, I think I'm going to do the same as this T-34 and getting some cover here. Hopefully they're not pushing from the right. Oh, there goes a... Yep, yep, yep. Good, 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 good. 
for Ingold here. Bring the turret out. Now, he, he does have a 75, so a little dangerous. Oh, my lord. Goodbye. I feel like they might be pushing from the right. Me, me and this T-34, the only one still here. I'm going to cover the, the right. I don't like the right at all. Yep, we got movement right. Long range. Don't know if I'll be reloaded in time. Wow, our whole team, not whole team, but a lot of our players have just gone away. We'll call that out. Uh-oh. Nice spot. Friendly aircraft. Might be pushing around this side. I think that 30... Oh. Oh, okay. Wow. Isn't that... It, wow! Isn't that just... Isn't that just War Thunder? You sit there diligently looking over at the position that you think everyone's going to come from. And, and you get rused. And you get... And you get rused like that. Hey, okay, who's camping our spawn? This guy. Hey, go back and cover. Three of them popped out. We can definitely still do this. You guys see him on the radar? Can you guys... Okay. I think they're going to go hunt him. We got an enemy over here. They got him. I'm telling you, I love this thing with AP. Love it. Still performing well. We have had a really nice PR this game. Enemy shot. Okay, I see where he shot from. And I, I I actually see him now. It's going to be a... Jeez, these guys are... Wait, hang on. We, we can't show ourselves yet. Do I need to call these guys out? They're right there, guys. Whoa! There it is! Oh no! I mean, we did kind of sh I don't know. I mean, with the. E no! I gotta say, that is the second worst feeling in War Thunder. The, the, the first being getting engine shot three times, burning to death. That is the worst. But the second is having a perfectly placed bomb where you can't do anything about it. There's no chance. You you you, you hear the cheesy cartoon or Looney Tune bomb sound effect, and you know it's too late. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna use my KV2 speed here. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> In the cover we go. There should be another one over here. Ooh, they're capturing C as well. Okay, almost done reloading. There's already an aerial battle going on in this game just started. Should I even worry about Charlie or just keep moving on? Okay, this guy's getting pumped from the front. They got him. Might want to re just try to use some different words there. Pump from the front might be a little, a little wrong in some cases. But hey, it's 2019, okay? Hide in shadows. Oh, yep, Tango. Yeah, I see him, but I can't see him. Oh, oh my gosh, you are a blessing. Thank you. Oh my gosh. We can't go, okay, we can go out this way a little bit, but for how long? Is someone gonna shoot my... Yes, we gotta refill. 
The B1 Biss is now the fodder. <laughs> okay, we got a KV1B though. KV1B. That's the guy who went across the street near the KV2 in front of us. We got a quackity quack duck as well. Oh, there he is. Does he see me? Hang on, hang on. Yes. Oh, my. What the? What's his side armor? What's his side armor of the turret? Hey, got driver again and on fire. And he's dead. Well done, guys. We killed a Goliath. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Oh, my Lord, have mercy. Dang, that, that, that Heinkel is doing some pretty good work, I got to say. Oh, no, no, no. No, no. We got a uh, quick boy on the outskirts. He's going around. Oh, my God. What is happening? Aye to me. Where'd this dude go? Hey, he's still waiting there. Help team. Oh, there goes my gunner. Oh my gosh. Guys, I just want you to just take a look at this vehicle that killed me. Just look at this vehicle. Look at this thing. I knew it was going to happen, but not by some Japanese convertible. It has a gun strapped to it. Not even a real war vehicle. Mine is a real war vehicle. Come on, team. We can do this. We're doing actually wonderful right now. We just got to reinforce our main lines. There we go. Okay. Now, we should have enough for another KV. Oh my gosh, these things are a little expensive. <laughs> I mean, they're really not that good. They can just one-shot you quickly, but you can easily shoot underneath, underneath the gun and call it a day. Oh. Okay, got him. That's, that, that's the T-34 that killed the... Uh, Another one over. Oh, there, there's two. There's two. There's two. Come on, reload. Tick it down. Tick it down. Oh, direct ammo hit. I think we might be able to do this. No, we got a long, still a long reload. He might pop out right around here. This is going to be risky. Bada boom, bada bang. There we go. We got an A cap going on. Oh, Lord. He didn't cap it. We're still alive by a little bit. We got to move to Charlie. There's another one. There, 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 there. Yep, 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 yep. There's another one. We got to go to Charlie, though, if we want to do anything about this game. <laughs> yeah, boy. Oh. Well, boys.
two hard losses. We tried our best. KV2 performed well. Not as good as it was before, but the AP shells, especially at the BR, you got to watch your BR a little bit. But the a AP shells still perform wonderful, except against a Stug, for whatever reason. Now, that, sh that um, American tank we shot was this guy, I believe. And he has a different hole than the M4s we're used to. Yeah. It's, it's touchy. Yeah, that's where I think we hit, right there. Yeah, so you don't have... Not every vehicle you look at, you can dink anywhere. You kind of have to aim for a little bit of a weak spot. But that, that's pretty crazy that that Sherman can withstand a shell going... Uh... 436 meters a second. That weighs 234 bananas. Kind of blows your mind. But at the same time, we've seen 152 millimeter bounce off a uh, Russian Russian car or whatever. I forgot what it's called. It starts with a D or something. Fellas, hope you have enjoyed. Have a great day. Thanks for the support as always. Peace out.